Kelly is with us in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Hi, Kelly. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm so excited to talk to you. You too. What's up? Okay, so I am 53 years old. I am a kindergarten teacher, and um, I got remarried, my second marriage, five years ago. And when I did that, I moved into my husband's home, and uh, I was very, very attached to my family home that I had raised my children in. So I kept it, and I rented it. And um, my first four years, I had a military family. They were fantastic. I loved them. They were wonderful. And they got transferred. So they left, and I took a new family who stopped paying me. Wait a minute. They stopped paying you? Yeah, they stopped paying. They did not pay June rent, and then they didn't pay July, and now they're not paying August. Why? Um, Because they're scumbags. Why are you tolerating Um, this? Well, that's why I'm calling you. So what hap- So what I've done so far is I, um, I went back with my realtor, and um, I started the process. Uh, I sent them the notice um, with the full balance owed. You know, gave them a week to pay it, and then if not, the, notifying them that I was beginning the eviction process. Mm-hmm. Um, they're guiding me along. I just know that you are the expert on it, so that's why I called you. Um, when did the I, eviction? When does the eviction notice go out? Well, I'm, they got the letter yesterday stating what they owed and and advising them they had a week to pay for the eviction process starts. Okay, so a week from today, the eviction process starts. Correct. Correct. Okay. Um. So I just want to tell you this really quick because it's very important to me. Um, I told you I had that was my family home where I raised my children. Mm-hmm. And when I was 39 years old, I had been married for 18 years. And my husband came home and he had a girlfriend and he walked out the door like that. And when our divorce was finalized, I was upside down on that house, $50,000. I had not a dime. And he paid me a monthly amount, which he paid faithfully. And from that, I now have $160,000 in mutual funds. I have a pension. I have a job. I have, um, my house is worth 300. I owe 200. So I really turned it around. Yeah, you did. That's impressive. Yeah, I did. Good for you. I did. Yes. And so this is very emotional for me. Mm-hmm. Um, my ex-husband, um, him and I became good friends. We worked it out. We raised our children. Three years ago, he had a heart attack and died. He left my daughter's money. They are they're young, 24, 25 years old. And my daughter wants to buy that house. She wasn't ready yet. She was finishing college. Mm-hmm. She, I didn't want to rush her. She, you know, she felt young mm-hmm. and to take care of a large a home. Mm-hmm. So that was the reason I rented it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, the intention is that she'll buy it. She's mm-hmm. got the funds to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, but, when, you know, we're not ready to do that yet. Okay. Um, she's so just evict the, the, the scumburgers. Right. So, okay. so I, I just, what do I do? I just get a lawyer and go to court. Like, how does yep. that work? Yep. Well, it okay. works different in every state. And I okay. don't know the laws in New Jersey. I'm going okay. to be, uh, I'm going to make an assumption that they're more difficult to evict in New Jersey than they are in Tennessee. In Tennessee, oh, uh, everything's pretty yeah. easy. Uh, people right. don't pay, we put them out. It's pretty simple. Uh, right. you, you may right. have to go through a whole different rigmarole there than, I don't know. I don't know what the, what's right. your law. Do you, you, do you have a written lease with these scummy people? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, go. I do. Okay. I went through a realtor and I have okay. released. Ask it. your realtor who they use, what attorney they use for evictions, okay. and call that attorney when you get as soon as you get the name, and send them okay. a copy of the lease and tell them to start the process, uh, and tell them what you've done, and as, okay. so, as as long as you have followed what the law says on proper notice, and everything in your area, then just proceed with the eviction and don't stop the process for anything. Okay except these people leaving your home. Okay. Unless the law requires you to. 
Okay. So meaning, if they were to pay me some money, don't stop. No, no, don't don't accept money. They need they need to move. Okay. They need to move. They, they okay. have bro- they have broken trust, and we don't want them there anymore under any circumstances. Even okay. if they and, bring you a hundred percent current, they need to leave. Yes, I, I feel the same. I don't trust them at all. Um, and my just one final question. Um, you know, I'm paying. Um, sorry, I got myself together now. I am. You know, I'm paying my. Uh, bills on that home. Mm-hmm. I, I mm-hmm. use my emergency fund. Thank the good Lord that I have one. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm continuing to use that. I'm trying to prepare just mentally um, for how long I might think. I mean, this can't go on for more than a year, can it? I have no idea in New Jersey. You need to okay. talk to an attorney and they'll tell you exactly. I can get them out in Fair 21 enough. days in Tennessee. But wow. in Jersey, I don't have any idea. Okay. And Fair so I, my guess is it's probably a, a three-month to a six-month program there, but I really don't know. Some states require ridiculous notice, and they require six different kinds of notices, and they require you to do it certified mail, and you have to be able to do all this stuff. So you may have to start over on the demand letter that you did because you may, may sure. have done it without good legal advice. Um, and so, But you need to find out exactly what the process is and don't miss a day on the process tighten up that calendar because what people do is is they they go oh well you've got 30 days and then they wait 40 days to do the next thing now do it at 31 30 days and 10 minutes okay and then Uh, right on the wire on everything and move them out as fast as you possibly can and um because here's your other problem every day they stay there disrespecting you there is a day they're more likely to tear up your house. Agreed. In addition Agreed. to this, and you're not going to get any money out of these deadbeats, probably. All you're going to get from this is an, is a Ph.D. in evictions. You're going to get a, a degree, a new certificate on how to do evictions. You're going to know how to do it now in your state. So find out what the law is in Jersey. Follow the law exactly and start immediately and don't miss a deadline. Hit every Every, every milestone, every marker exactly on the head and move them and push them and move them and push them and move them and push them.